Welcome to another Linden Elevator YouTube video on how to help uh, elevator mechanics become more proficient at their trade. Today we'll be discussing the UV5A Eco's mid-size valve and uh, we're going to be looking at leak down issues on this valve. In order of the way you should proceed because it's the most time effective but not necessarily the most likely order for this leak down to occur, the first thing we want to do is to check to see if the problem is in the two solenoid tubes. These are the electronic coiled stems here and here. The first thing that we want to do is locate the DA adjuster. It's right down behind manual lowering or directly below this solenoid tube. We want to take this adjuster, count your turns precisely, turn it all the way clockwise till you feel it bottom out. You do not have to give it a lot of pressure just till you feel it bottom out. If your leak down improves, for example, say before we did the test, you were releveling every 15 seconds, we turn in the DA adjuster and the problem goes to 10, 15, 20 minutes without a relevel. That means the problem is in the two solenoid tubes, one or both of these tubes. The test is not specific as to which one it is. For today's uh, video, we have gone ahead and we have loosened most of these items so that they're easy to remove. And what we're going to find inside is a needle valve assembly and it has a small spring on the top of it and then a needle valve that moves here. This needle valve fits onto a seat down inside the solenoid tube. If this plunger comes out with the solenoid tube, that's a problem. It should move quite freely on the inside. It should be able to move in and out with no difficulty. Inside the solenoid tube pocket is a brass round seat. On the opposite side of the seat, this is where it actually seals inside this brass fitting. There's an O-ring with a white plastic or Delrin or nylon seat. Oftentimes you'll get a small piece of debris on the inside here keeping the needle valve from completely sealing on the inside this creates a leak down. This can be in either one of these two solenoid tubes. The way you want to do is take this out. If the test turns out positive and the leak stops when you screw in the DA adjuster, blow air or contact clean or something backwards through the system, flush it out, clean all of the components, and then reassemble. This is probably going to work about 15 to 20 percent of the time when you have a leak down scenario. The most common scenario will be that you have something stuck inside the down main piston. Here again, the bolts have been loosened for ease in this video of showing you what's going to be happening. After you remove all of the bolts, you're going to pry this plate out, and normally it's stuck in there pretty good because of the O-rings. We're going to pry it out, and you're going to find that there would be two O-rings here and here. They have been removed as we discussed. The down piston then slides out never grab by the center stem. If you have to exert pressure to pull with pliers or any other device, use the smaller stem here to pull on. The piston is roughly five inches long and the sealing surface that we're interested in, if there's going to be a problem, is right here. This rubber seat where the V-guide comes to a point on this sealing surface. If you find any debris, cracks, cuts, nicks, or breaks in that rubber seat, that's the source of your leak down problem. Other places that can create a leak down on the UV5A is in the check valve itself. This also would have O-rings here. Again, they have been removed. The area that we are most concerned with on the check valve is this rubber O-ring that goes around the outside edge of the check piston. Now, another problem though can exist with these two small O-rings here and here. If they are nicked or cut, it is a potential source for a leak down problem. The last one, and uh, not horribly common because you'd had to have had manual lowering open to create the leak, is that there is an O-ring down here at the bottom on most of the newer models. If it has a red uh, emergency cap with a knurled handle on it, it will have an O-ring here. If all you have is a T-handle style, there will be no O-ring. This concludes Linden Elevator's leak down problems with UV5As. If you have any problems, call Linden Elevator at the number at the end of this video. Thank you.